my creatives and welcome to another video. Today I want to create an ephemera folder folio thingy <laughs> for inside my uh, netbook. So it is, this, will, this will not be for the panel but just in inside on a page. Uh, I saw this on um, Margaret's channel, Seven Plaza, and then I went to Rachel from Roxy Creations because this is the Roxy's weekly challenge week 16 I believe and I watched her and I I don't know it just clicked in my brain to create this as ephemera for in my um, netbook also uh, I will introduce a new printable later on in this video that has to do with this but first of all I did do some paper choosing up front I did notice that uh, I bought some new toners and unfortunately the quality of them is uh, not as good as the quality of my previous ones. Uh, so there is a difference in print. Uh, that can also happen to you. Uh, don't worry if you buy the other ones again then you will be fine. But sometimes you have to try things out. So if there is some color differences in my paper that's correct because this is a beautiful quality and then this is less beautiful but I don't know if you can see it I can see it that one is more warm warmer than the other one or this is the less beautiful one so uh, let's see now um, of course uh, this is an A4 sheet that I tore down it's also printed single-sided regular copy paper um, but it is uh, way too big so we have to trim that down so if we take a full page so let's see what would be a good page to put this on. Mm, maybe here or maybe here. Maybe this is a good page. Then we need it to be a certain size. Uh, the only thing we're going to do is we're going to make folds. That's it. Uh, and, but I would love to have her on the front so I need her to be on the front and that means that I I'm going to use that as a reference but if I want her on the front that means that I have to cut off a piece here or fold it in and then it's a variation on oh, I can also fold it in and then it's already a side pocket okay so what I'm going to do now is I fold my A4 piece of paper in half. Folding it in half because I really would love her to be on the cover. How is it possible that I do this crooked? Because it's your first project today, Kim. You have to warm up a little. Okay, I folded this in half and because I want her to, well, show here, uh, I need this to fold in. So I think we are folding it in about two inches, I guess. Yes. We have folded this in and then this will be our flap or closure. Yeah, that's about right. And I folded that at about an inch and a half. So let's see. Okay, this fits perfectly on here, but now we need to lose some on the top. And I am going to mark it and take my guillotine, I guess. Oh no. I tore all of it, so I should tear the rest. Um, I'm going to make a mark. I'm going to fold it out and I'm going to make a mark. Let's tear it here. So I'm folding this piece out and where is my ruler? Oh, here. Fortunately, we're going to lose some of the beautiful design, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm lining it up with my um, mat so I can tear straight-ish. So, here. 
And then, of course, I should have lined this up with the mark. <laughs> this is something to get used to for me. Okay, that one, then that one, and this is pretty much straight. Taking this off. Now, don't throw this away. You can always use this beautiful scrap, beautiful scrap. So this is our the base of our folder. Now, as you saw, there is nothing on the inside. So I already thought about that as well. And I was thinking about this one or this one. But now we already made a flap. So I think I would like to go for this. But then more towards that side. So let's see how that would look if I take off these pieces. I sometimes have this when I just, you know, watch YouTube videos and all of a sudden I get this great idea for my own journaling and for my own junk journals and then I can't wait to create it. Uh, so, but unfortunately I had to go to school yesterday. <laughs> So I wasn't able to create this yesterday when I really, really wanted to because I thought of this Monday evening. I go to school on Tuesdays. Um, yeah, so I had to wait. But now I'm super excited about it. And let's hope it will work out. Let's see. Okay. Then if I glue this on here, you will still see this. Or not, no. So if we turn it around, uh, you will see it here. And yes, okay, I'm going for this because we are going to create something on the inside. So I need a gluing paper thing, packaging paper. <laughs> some uh, some um, companies send out insane amounts of packaging paper. It is crazy, but then it's very good for me for crafting and now as a gluing paper. Um, I'm just using a glue stick for this to stick both of them together. Oh, I'm so excited. I notice in my motion that I'm actually so excited to create this that I'm not being any not being really careful or something because I would really like to create this and I want to see if my plan works <laughs> my idea okay let's go so I already thought about a lot of things that I wanted to create but not all the details of course because I didn't create it already so glue then we take our piece of paper and this is the flap that goes inside as a pocket so on that side i am going to adhere this perfect and i will move my book out of the screen because i'm not in frame completely and of course this is too big but we just Tear that, which is easier because we already have this one as a reference. So I will remove this. Oh, let's see if I can do it like this because I am so bad at this. But we will see if I can manage. Okay, push it down real hard here. Oh no, no, I can't. Uh, I guess I need to cut this. So then I will. Mm, just like right that there. Also keeping this scrap. And we are going to cut this piece off. It is what it is, right? Then preferably you let this all dry. But you know, I'm impatient like that. So I don't. Yes, that is the fold we made. And we made a fold here. Yes, and we made a fold here. 
So refolding everything. Loving it, loving it. Oh, you see less of it than I thought. <laughs> uh, oh well, it is what it is. Um, then we are going to, yes, because it's going to look like this. I'm going to ink everything and I'm using the stress oxide ground espresso. So I'm going to ink all the outsides and also all the spines. And once I've done that, I will be back with you. I inked everything up and now we are going to attach this uh, flap we folded in from this part as a pocket uh, and you just do that by adhering it on two sides because the third side is already stuck down so let's do that already so this can dry so here and here and push it down oh maybe I wanted to have a notch I think I can still manage with my uh, or I just take it apart. Huh. I will grab a circle punch. I have my two inch circle punch here. Let's create a notch. Uh, about here. Then we need a little bit more ink. Yes. In there. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> So excited that we are doing the first page, even though the lab book cover is not finished yet, but we, we will finish. Don't worry. I also have an idea for that, but I really wanted to make this one first before I would get what I wanted to do inside the journal. Okay. So this is our first side. Loving it. Loving it. Looks great. Then... The beauty of this paper is that you don't have to decorate it at all because it's already decorated. Then on this side we are going to create an envelope and I was thinking about maybe this one or this one. I know Roxy used um, letters for her envelope but I'm thinking maybe I want to do this. Let's see if I, hmm, or do I want to have this? I am not sure. Maybe this one it does look quite nice, right? I think it looks a lot more fun than just this. And we can add a piece of this on the inside because of course this inside is white and we need to cover that. Um, yeah, so the envelope part is also very, very easy. And a, I learned a nifty little trick to make it um, a lot more accessible. So that's also great when you learn new things. So I also really wanted to try that out. Come on, piece of paper. And tear this side. And this side. Let's see. The envelope part. Then. Uh, I am keeping in mind where the folds are. So I don't go over the folds. And I always leave a little gap here with the flap. So that makes it easier to remove things in and out of your envelope. So I'm folding it here. Is this crooked? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Folding it here. And then the flap part is way too long. But the good thing is, oh, it's almost threes. Good thing is we can tear it down. So I'm just lining this up as well. And then we will tear a piece of the flap. <laughs> Like this, and then we are going to determine how big our flap will be. I think it will be about an inch, I guess, where I 
uh, an inch and a half. Oop. But I really don't do any real measuring with this. It's just on feeling. Um, I think if we tear it off here. Perfect, 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 perfect. And we need to tear off a bit of the top. So let's line it up and tear that off. So I just lined it up so it's uh, flush with the bottom. Putting my ruler flush with the top. And then I'm going to tear this piece off. So this is our envelope. Uh, I would like to have some round corners, but I also would like to line it. And I would like to have a circle. So let's do the circle part. Yes, great, 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 great. And then we take this piece. Let's see. Piece do we take? I think uh, this top. I think that would look great. Um, how big do we need it? We don't all need it all the way to the bottom. I can do it for a more, you know, st uh, strings. Yeah, okay. Let's do it all the way to the bottom. Uh, because this is just copy paper. And if you look inside, then uh, this side is of course white, but then this side is not. So how big do we need it? We need it to be that big. Is that on a line? No, of course not. <laughs> it's about this. Yes. And then we need it to be, I can glue it already. I don't hope this video is very um, disorganized. I don't know, chaotic. I feel a bit chaotic. It's like the ADHD day today. So feel a bit woozy, feel a bit busy in the brain. So I hope. <laughs> This is an okay video. Otherwise, oh well. I hope you enjoy the idea and that you enjoy the printables and this process and you know, following it along with me. I'm having fun. So that's the most important part, right? Uh, lining it up on the top. Okay, wait, go away paper. Sometimes I find this very difficult because usually I do this with my face on top of my project. And now I can't because I'm filming. So. <laughs> okay. Good enough. Tearing this part off because, uh, you know, I'm not as good at paper cutting. So I like to tear. <laughs> then this can fold in again. Great, 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 great. And let's see, where is our here? This can fold in again. Also looking fantastic. It still fits, right? Uh, yeah, it still fits here. Great, I love it. Look at how cool. Rounding some corners with the seven millimeter. I'm getting in the flow. I'm so excited about this. And now let's do some inking. I was worried that I wouldn't have any ideas anymore for uh, the lab book inside. Because I was thinking, yeah, I'm already making so much. Maybe I don't have any ideas anymore. Um, that happens to me often that sometimes an insecurity like that hits me, that I, I, I'm, I get scared that I have 
used up all of my creativity and I don't have any new ideas to share with you and you will get bored and I don't know what to create anymore and I would hate it to miss it now because it's my coping mechanism doing this with you guys. Um, and then I don't know what happens, but then I created the last quote unquote last projects I thought of. And then there are always new ones. I also have another ephemera idea that I really would like to work out. Um, and I have an idea for the last panel for the lab book. And then I don't have any ideas anymore. But it seems that when I create um, the things I thought of, I get new ideas afterwards. So I will probably be fine. Oh, this happened because I folded it while the paper was not dry. There's a wrinkle here. But honestly, it's more grunge. So I'm not going to worry about it. But preferably you would let everything dry before you fold it. And not as I do. Um, sticking everything together before it is dry. Or folding everything before it is dry. Let's see. Uh, did I ink everything? Yes, I did. But do you ever worry that you run out of creativity? I wonder. I do. Okay, gluing on two sides. So we create our envelope part. And push it down. I'm loving it. Absolutely, absolutely loving it. So cool. Okay, so we have our envelope part and I want to have that like this in here. Uh, does it need a closure? I should have thought of that before, I guess. <laughs> Uh, we will be fine. It's good. Maybe I will add a tab or something. So that can go in here. And then Roxy did only glue in the middle of her envelope. And that way... Oh, Rachel from Roxy Creations uh, did only glue on the middle of her envelope. And that way, when you put it down... You can open it up really wide and apparently that gives you better access. So I will do that too and try that out and see what I think of it. Because that's the beauty of crafting, right? That you can try things out and see what you think of it. And if you don't like it, then you don't do it again. And if you do like it, then you learn something new. Oh, my crease is also getting gone. <laughs> so, nice, great. So that is stuck in there. Mm, maybe I should add a tab or something. Or a circle here. But I also wanted to add another pocket here. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> uh, okay. So now this is what we have. And if you close this. So this is our beautiful folder now. I don't know why these sides do not line up. But I will fix that. Yes, great. Uh, then of course this does need a uh, closure. And I'm going to think about that. And then I will be back. I am back. I had lunch, I had a think, and then I prepared a little bit of a few things. So I decided on the closure that I want to have tabs. Uh, so I have my die here. And I punched out or I ran it through my die cutting machine and I created two tabs. So I have these two here already inked them because, well, you don't have to watch me ink, right? Uh, and I thought this one would look... I haven't checked it out, so we're checking this out together. I, I thought this one would look really cool here. And I thought this one, this yellowish one, 
look great on the outside to pull in a little bit of the yellow and it does i really like it maybe i should put it here so the closure doesn't ruin her face <laughs> um yeah so maybe i should adhere these now i will because i probably won't change my no i won't change my mind uh, I will punch an eyelet through this for the closure and I already also grabbed some string uh, so you can tie it together. I thought it would be cool inside my journal. Um, oh, no, no, not on the mat. Okay, I think about here. Let's, let's do it here. Yes, great, 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 great. I love the writing on this printable. It is super great. And I always love basic printables because you can create a lot of great things with that. So then uh, let's adhere this one as well with some glue and just a little bit underneath. So the string will not cover her face because I think that would be sad if it would cover her face because my whole idea on what this folder is for in this journal is based around this image so that's why i really really wanted to use it yeah around here great now i will let this dry for a little bit because um i want to punch through it but Let's, let's be wise and let it dry a little bit. Now, uh, the thing I didn't like was that it was this is flipping up. Um, and I thought I wanted to add a pocket here because that is what Rachel did. But I am going to do my own thing and deviate off from that idea. Because I went through the ephemera that is with the kit. And I found this circle and I thought this would be such a great closure. Now I pulled this a little bit too close close down but oh well doesn't really matter I thought this would be such a great closure and then maybe just a label here and then this is the decoration or maybe a label here you know underneath the closure um, I'm not sure yet but I think I prefer that um, over a pocket. Uh, if it wants a pocket, then it was it's going to be this paper. But then you still have this flipping up, and I don't really like that. So I want to create the pocket. Now this is just regular printer paper. So I'm checking if this is the exact same size as this. Almost good enough. Uh, this is just a scrap piece from the lace windowed lace tanks we made. <laughs> Uh, and I cut that out, so that's why you keep your pieces, because now I can glue this to this, and then it's a little bit more sturdy. Yay! <laughs> uh, so it's not uh, thick, it's just craft paper. It's not super thick, but I think both layers is enough. And then also the glue from the glue stick makes it a little bit stiffer. So that is a good thing in this case. So let's glue these two together. Maybe I should have inked. Still ink. Doesn't really matter. So now it has also a very nice craft um, backing. Great. A little bit more ink. So once this dries, it will be a little bit more sturdy. But I will I will let it dry for a little bit before I adhere it onto the onto the envelope thingy. So I think I will put it here as a closure and then you can, once this is dry, maybe take it at the tab. <laughs> and maybe I want to have it a little bit. Or do I want to have the label here? I think the label here looks great. Love it. These labels are also part of the kit. So you can get this in your kit. Okay. 
think about was about here, right? Something like this. Is it straight? I can't see. <laughs> I think this is this is straight-ish. I guess. Okay, this is it. And then I thought of some other decorations, so I pulled this from the kids, and I thought this might look cool here. Uh, with this yellow label with numbers uh, because the flap is of course a little bit plain and a little bit boring so I thought that would look nice to have a little floral there um, which I actually really like so let's go stick that down as well so some swift decision making uh, because I also have to do some other things today I, not that it's very, very necessary today, but I would love to do a part of my schoolwork today and a part tomorrow so I can balance it a little bit. So maybe I do some swift decision making. I'm happy after crafting, then I can do some schoolwork. <laughs> Let's see. Great, love it. Now, is this dry enough? Yes, I think I'm going to tilt this a little bit so then there should be glue on here I do grab the crafty glue for this because this paper needs a little bit more resistance um, I think about here Great, I will pull this flap out so this can dry flat. Now, uh, I also pull out a ticket and an advertisement from the other, uh, from the kids to pull in some more of that yellow. I thought that would look great here. And then um, I don't know what else I want to do because it feels still a little bit empty. Maybe I need some stamping or some other small pieces and of course we need to fill the pockets so let's see I really liked this also I love it that things hang off the uh, hang off the pockets so I don't have to have everything always you know perfectly aligned with each other so let's see pull this here and more glue. I don't know where it hangs off the pocket, so I am going to assemble this and then pull it up if I need more glue. Oh yeah, it's just a small side, so I will add a little bit of glue here so it will stick. Do we need a Tim Holtz number thingy? Oh yes, I like that. Okay, we're going to add this one. <laughs> I love it, looks great. Uh, not completely, so we hang it off the pocket. So this is enough glue here. Yes, I like threes. When it is threes, I feel it is complete. Great. And the beauty is there is already decoration here, so I don't have to do anything here. I'm thinking maybe I should do something here or on the inside. Do we also need a number thingy here? Let's see, do we have small ones? This is a small one. Or is it weird? Do we have small ones? Even smaller ones? I don't know. Let's see. Or should we do this one? I think that one is quite nice. So do the inking the sides. And take my glue.
I also find when papers are decorated like this um, on the front, this takes up a lot less bulk in your journal. We also need something here. Uh, I will grab the ephemera because there are also some florals in here and maybe there is a oh yes there's a nice yellow floral and uh, these are small because I printed them to to a page so I like doing that with digitals to print things to to a page oh yes I really really like that with the label and we'll just flip the label over so you will not see a thing of it anymore because the backside we will never see again because that's what we're going to glue into uh, into the journal on the page you can also make this a standalone piece I thought maybe I will create another one for snail mail and I was thinking about creating a botanical one for my altered book to keep the idea but I don't know if you want to see me create one like this again or I should just make it on my own. I'm thinking about making it on my own because you see how the thing works. <laughs> and then I'll just, oh no, not on the mat. I will just create one on my own, which is also nice for me. Yes, the label, and then we of course need a bit of ink over here. Great, is there another number thingy that we like? Mm, this is too big, definitely too big. Uh, maybe this one, I still need to fold it over, but yeah, I like this one. These are Tim Holtz. I don't know the name of the number snippets. Marie, if you're watching, I certainly know you know the name of these. <laughs> oh, I'm having a lot of fun with my Tim Holtz products lately. Which is good, because I'm hoarding them. And now I'm using them for myself. So, that is good. Adding it in. And fold. So now there's no glue on my mat. Yes, I like this. Oh, I very, very much like this. Just, you know, just a little bit of extra really pulled this together. Great. Maybe another number here. A, a number snippets. Mm, maybe this one. Oh, yes. That looks great. Okay. I'm going to add that as well. Ooh. Love it. A bit more ink bit more ink. I am loving it. Oh, the idea is working out better than I thought. First I thought, oh no, it's not going to happen because I was folding the paper, trying it to fold it before filming. And I thought, no, she's ending up on the back. And now because I decided to make the side pocket like that, she's on here and I think she looks great. I think I'm going to call her Emma. This is Emma, her folio. Loving it. Uh, okay. Next, I want to make the closure. Uh, because I feel ready to do so. Oh, it looks so cool. I don't know. Does it need any more stamping? Or does it need a ticket? I bought these tickets. This is also Margaret Herfold. Uh, I bought these tickets from 49er Market. Does it need a ticket? Maybe it does. I will... Because it's the grey and I have blue. Does it need a ticket here? And then... I do like it. Or is it too much? I don't know. Is it too much? Or 
Should I? No, no, I think it's too much. No, Kira, stop. Because you are also going to put stuff in the pockets. Move aside. <laughs> closure. First of the closure. Oh, do I want to have it on the inside here? Hmm. Yes, I like it on the inside. Okay. Just getting rid of the white edges. Definitely like it on the inside. Some glue. And then there is another roll of tickets in there, which are postage stamps. Not that I don't have any postage stamps, but I mean, if it is given to me, I will use it. Uh, so this one is fine. Oh yes, that looks great. A little bit of ink. Great, 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 great. Uh, glue. Yes. Loving it. So. Great. Uh, let's do this in here. Okay, now the envelope is closed. I love that a lot more. Uh, the closure. Yes, I want to have my crocodile, I want to have an eyelet and then uh, this uh, string because I think that fits really well with the uh, oh, burlap tabs we, we used. So I think that looks great in this uh, journal. I'm throwing stuff. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, I need the big hole and I think I'm going to punch it here. Yes, great. No, okay. uh, which color? I think I want to have this one or do we want to have gold? Do we want to have gold or... Um, oh. Gold, or do we want to have this antique bronzed color? Mm, yeah, I'm going for gold, but do I want to have a big gold one? Does it fit? Do we want to have a big one or a small one? <laughs> what do we want on this project? Mm, I think a small one. I will keep the big ones for something else. Okay, let's go. Punch. Great. Great, great, great. Oh, yes, I love it. I love, oh, I have a, oh. I had this laying here. A cigar band. Do we like it here? Maybe we do. Or do we want to have it here? No. I like it there. I'm going to stick it on. This was just laying on my desk from the window glaze tags. Because I collected a few to try out. <laughs> so let's just stick that on. Oh, underneath on the circle great I used another one of these and it looks great okay uh, yeah I want to use this string for a closure so let's take it I hope it is enough I think so and then if we make it into a closure we need some on this side and we need to wrap it around and some on the other side. Oh, it's even way too much because I'm going to tie a bow. Let's see. Oh, this is way, way, way too much. Um, even less. 
maybe even less. Okay, maybe something like this. Let's try to make a bow. And then I will cut out the excess. Oh yes, that is great. So I will cut this the same size. Um, scissors. Hello? Yes. Or so, so much stuff on my desk. I'm a very messy crafter. Everything is always around me. Uh, let's see. So. We make a string in this. Or make a string. Tie bow. Maybe we need a bit more. Okay, yeah, much better. We tied our bow. Now what I need to do is to add a little bit of tape here on the back so it stays. And I'm just going to use masking tape because we are not going to see any of this. Because I also have not decided if I want to turn this into a top loading pocket on the page. Maybe I do. Because you can simply do that, of course. Okay. Now, let's see. Open her up. Yes, it looks great. Do we need anything else here? No. Okay, looks great. Looks great. I love this one. And do we need an eyelet in this, maybe? And do I have a charm? Maybe. I will have a look in my stash. I thought I wanted to add a charm here, but uh, I'm now against it because uh, this will create a lot of bulk on the inside and it will stand up and all, you know, move differently. So um, I decide against it. So I'm not going to add a, um, a charm, maybe somewhere else in the book or maybe on the, one of the tabs because I do really like this leaf, this gold leaf, um, but not on this, um, in this particular thing and I'm also not going to add a eyelet I think I'm not sure do I want to add a eyelet, an eyelet it does look cool right so maybe we should do an eyelet just for you know decoration purposes I'm going to do the big one then in this particular yeah let's do a big eyelet so I will take this flap and then we need to have the big hole. Oh, go back please, thank you. I think around here. Yes, great. Now. I love it. Okay, that looks great. I'm happy I did so. Uh, now, let's put this one back in the closure. Then, I think we are ready for some... Oh no, I left my glue open for like half an hour. No. I think we now are ready uh, to add something in the pockets. And here comes uh, my new printable. I spent quite some time searching for cabinet cards with bags because, well, I don't have them. And I thought that would look cool. Oh, I closed my window because someone is scratching the tiles in front of my home. I guess to get rid of weeds and stuff, but you know. Um, yeah, so I got these. Um, I spent quite some time to find some cabinet cards with bags. Uh, now, if you... Uh, these are the cabinet cards. Unfortunately, it's printed with the less quality uh, prints, but they look great. 
Um, I printed these on 160 GSM because I wanted to add these cabinet cards because I thought this would be Emma, her folio, and this is Emma and she would have some cabinet cards from some relatives in here and add maybe a little bit of journaling. So this is the full size, you get three sheets uh, and uh, they are... Um, meant to go together so this is the front and this is the back uh, original fronts and backs uh, they are supposed to go together so that is great so i have three of these and this is the full size and then i printed them to to a sheet because i thought maybe this was a bit too big for my uh, folder maybe i wanted to add some small ones so let's pick out a few I think I really want to add her and I also want to add her so I am going to grab my scissors here are my scissors don't worry I'm not going to fussy cut with you I'm just going to check out together with you if we're going to add more so I want to have the big one of her and this small one because I think now, of course, these are uh, available on my Kofi. I didn't mention that, and that is linked down below in the, the description box. And then I also want to add him, I think, because then this is her uncle, and then her mother, maybe, or you know, picture of her grandmother, and then maybe this is her child or her niece. Um, yeah, so I think I want to add these three in the uh, pocket and then I also want to add a letter piece in here. Now if you open this up and we glued it only in the inside so now this pocket is a lot more accessible and uh, that is great so you can pull it open like that. I think I want to add um, like uh, something to you know do some secret journaling on or some writing i'm not sure yet so i will cut these out uh, and then um, back them together so i will glue them back to back this is printed on 160 years and paper i don't know if i mentioned that and i will find something to put in this pocket and then i will be back i am back i wanted to uh, no first of all i created the cabinet cards the three i wanted to create so i have this one this one and this one awesome and then when you turn them around they have the bags i also inked a little bit around them i love these they're great so i wanted to add these in here and uh, you know so she could look at them i don't know I wanted to add these in here. So do I still want to have the three? I love threes, but I think one of them maybe gets lost. I'm not sure. Maybe I should use her somewhere else and then use these two together. Like these are her uncle and her aunt from Emma. I don't know. And then I wanted to add another one of these from Victoria Design. Um, but then I saw these. Uh, these were also in the same bundle that I talked about earlier that I got from Entor Factoria Designs. It was the antique paper bundle. Uh, I don't know if they sell that anymore. I, uh, it was just, you know, a big sale deal. But these are all from uh, Factoria Designs. And I thought, since I printed all of them the same size... I could maybe make some journal cards with them so back a few so you can journal on this side and then um, you know you have a pretty other side so I don't know which ones I want to add maybe this one so let's let's tear that one out so I will move this aside I think this would look great in our journal I'm going to tear both of these in one go or at least paper and then this and this 
Okay, so this front. And maybe do we want to add this as a front? I do really, really like it. So then we have this front and this one. Or do we want to have this one? Maybe this. Or this. Oh, they're also beautiful. Uh, no, I go for this one. I think that is more the style I'm going for apparently right now. Might use the other ones from other places. Mm. This one. Then I also have an idea for the last panel in the lab book. So I also would really like to film that today. These two. Okay, then I can move these aside. And let's pick two backings. So these are our, I'm sorry, little girl, we'll use you something else. These are the backings. So maybe this one with that one. I don't know, I feel this, I feel a match with these two. So I will take, I will take this one. I love Taryn Cleaver. It's so satisfying. <laughs> and so these two go together. Then with this one, I think I'm going to add this. Because of the swirly thingy here. I feel that goes really well. Uh, I can't remember if these uh, are supposed to go together. Um, I just printed everything. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, but I really, really love this. And these are just basic papers you can use in any any project. Oh, no. And that is what I love. Okay, good enough. Um, if I didn't tear it right, I will ink. Okay, move this aside. And then let's back them together. Uh, let's see, this one, that is the top, just some glue stick, nothing fancy. This is also why I don't usually print back to back, because I often don't know what I want to do. Sometimes I just want to glue down and then I think it's such a waste of my toner. And uh, other times I do want to have them as journal cards. And I figured if I just print on the thin paper, copy paper. It's nice for collage and then if I want to use it as a card I can back them. I see here it's crooked but I will fix that. I can back it right. Um, I did print of course the cabinet cards on 160 GSM and de these are nice and sturdy right now so you could still do that of course but that is up to you. Yes great and then this one top and then that yeah and always, when you have a few white edges, don't worry. We grab a bit of ink and it's gone. I'm super excited about this project. I'm having so much fun. Okay, let's glue these together. This is why I love to use glue stick, because then I can move it around a little bit. Okay, great. Now, preferably you let everything dry, of course, but... I don't, uh, because I want to continue working on my project. So a little bit of ink, still just using ground espresso, nothing else. I do think I love uh, for one project to keep the same um, ink, because it is this project. I use a ground espresso on all of it. I like to be a little bit cohesive with those kinds of things. And of course I may may use some tea dye, but for now it's just all ground espresso, I believe. So I ink this and now you don't see a thing. 
Mm. Great. Loving it. Love these images from Factoria Designs. They are a great Etsy store. Love her designs. She does all kinds of themes as well. And has great um, bundles. And freebies. Okay, we have that. Now we take our um, folder thingy. Let's see. So, maybe I want to add this in the back here. And then these two cards go in here. So, one and two. So, you can journal on the back of these two. And I will probably do that. And you can journal on this one. And then you have these two beautiful photos uh, over it. Then we close it up. We close this. And we tie a little bow. Now I believe the only thing that is left for us to do is to attach it into the journal so we tied our tied our bow let's grab the journal or the lab book here it is I wanted to attach it on this page and I was still in debate if I wanted to have it as a top loading pocket or not I think because this is a fairly thin paper I think I am just going to, it's also already pretty chunky. <laughs> I think I'm going to adhere it as is. This will be one chunky monkey, I believe. We still not done yet. We haven't done, well, we haven't done a lot yet. I mean, I need to still create there at all kinds of ephemera here and uh, fill up this journal, of course, but we're well. Let's go for it. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to glue this down completely, I decided, and not do a pocket because I guess we will not have any room to put anything in. But if you would like, you could make this, of course, a side loading pocket or a top loading pocket, whatever you want. Um, I feel this is... Uh, better option for my journal because these tabs also made it already pretty chunky but oh well it's about the fun right and enjoying stuff to create i'm going to create more stuff for this so stay tuned for that and um well you will not see it but i will probably journal on the pieces like just do my own journaling uh, on the pieces because I like to use my journals to add some of my own life in um, and they don't stay to just be pretty they are used in one way or another now for this page we have to make well remember or take in consideration that you will feel the string here that is on the other page but you can cover that as well with something or not leave this as is you don't have to do everything to all the pages great okay i'm super excited i love it uh let's go to the end result uh, if we open it up uh, this is where we are are at now uh, this is the other side you already saw everything for this Next time we're going to create something on this panel. But for now we did actually do something in the uh, journal. And uh, we glued it in here. Loving this. I mean, this is great. I had a lot of fun creating it. So what you do, you open it up. This string. And then you have this beautiful lady. I called her Emma. And then this is her folio. So if you open it up. Then um, in here are the photos of her uncle and her aunt that she kept. And they are back to back. 
these are the printable, so you can get on my Kofi page. That's linked down below. Same for this Morris and Bloom kit. And then we have this piece of paper that is from Factoria Designs. I printed this back to back because I knew I wanted to use this as journal paper. So I can do some journaling on there. That goes in this side loading pocket. So put everything in. I like her to peek out a little. And uh, then we have this envelope in the middle that you can open up like this and has a nice opening because we glued it not completely to the sides. And that has two of these uh, journal cards from Factoria Designs. And these are on the back ready for some journaling. So that was the project for today. I really hope you enjoyed this and that you got some inspiration. Thank you so much, Rachel, uh, for the inspiration. And of course, Margaret uh, for creating or getting me familiar with Rachel from Roxy Creations. And uh, yeah, I absolutely love what we we created into this journal something so different from what I usually did. I never made a folio thingy for in my uh, in my journals. I loved it. So yeah, uh, don't forget to check out Kofi if you are interested in these printables. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.